C, first assignment of web technology part C. Here question is, write a PHP script to keep track of number of times the web page has been active. For this program, you can use the session or cookie. Here, in this program, we will use sessions. So, see here is the coding, HTML, then here, inside the title, number of times the web page has been visited. So, you will get the exact number, how many times the user visited to the same page. Here is the end of head, here is the body, inside this, embedded PHP, session start. We need to use this method, session start. Then, if A is a set, if set function will return the boolean value, is a set dollar session count means first you need to check the session this count is set or not. It's set. Okay. So dollar session count if it is set, then only it will go to the if block and will check dollar session of count equals to dollar session count plus one. Means count is a set, you are visiting to the next time to the same page and it will increment the value by 1. Otherwise, else, if it is not set, means if this condition gets set, then it will go to the else part and it will say the session count, the session count equals to 1. So, after this, see, if, if this condition is satisfied, then you will get the sum count. So print this sum. Where to print? See, echo. This page is accessed. Dot dollar session count. So here you will get the. This page is accessed. If you have clicked the four times, then you will get the four or five here. Okay. And here is the end of PHP tag. Save this program. File save. Save this program inside your HTTP HTDoc. See here and executing the program with the help of DAMP server. When you are executing the program on Ubuntu or on a Red Hat, you need to save it inside the HTML folder. Okay. See here I am using the DAMP HTDoc and here is my folder name and inside this folder name, my file name is here. Okay. Session 1. So now, first save and then run the program on the browser. So just click on the browser here, here is your local host, then your file name, and then you will write the your folder name, file name, and then just press the enter. Okay, so see here you will get the count. See, I am executing once again local host, then station one dot php. Just press the enter. So here you will get the count. This page is accessed. How many times? 10 times is accessed. So you will get the count 10. Here is your program. Okay, here is this page is accessed. So this thing. See, this page is accessed. This content you will get here. So how many times it is accessed? It is accessed 10 times, 2 times, 5 times. So this count will be here. Okay, so in this way, you, by using the session, you can print. Number of times the web page has been 